Harry attains all abilities, including Ultra Instinct from Goku, and also make him disappear. But before we start, I want to appreciate so much by stopping by and listening to another of my theories. But this theory, I guarantee you, is spooky and it's going to really make you believe that it's the real deal. Also, I want to let you know that we are giving out a PlayStation 4, but we need to have a thousand subscribers. So all you got to do is like, comment and subscribe to this brand new channel so you can get the PlayStation 4. Also, we need only, listen to me, only 50 likes and I'm gonna be giving out $50 to the person that comment and like the most in this video. So stay tuned so you don't miss your latest Dragon Ball Super theories. Goku makes his arrival in planet Earth and takes care of Big Mama with only one shot. And when Krillin looks up, he went like, Go Goku! And Mr. Rashi was, Oh my God! His timing gets worse every time more and more! He really got it close this time! So Goku asks Krillin for the others and Krillin responds by saying, Oh, Goku! There is battles all around Earth. We are all separate. Piccolo and Gohan are with 17 and 18 fighting the big boys and we are taking up the lower rank criminals. And Goku says, what about the others? Chi Chi, Bulma and the others are at Kami's lookout with Dende and Mr. Popo. So as Krillin is talking and explaining Goku everything that is happening, Goku started looking and thinking, searching for Vegeta's key. So Goku asked Krillin where Vegeta is, cause he cannot sense him. And Krillin's response was, What? He's not with you? Oh no, this is not good. And when Krillin says that, Goku starts wondering of what type of training Vegeta may be receiving at the moment. So while he's wondering and trying to get more answers, he decides to get Krillin and Mr. Rashi back to Kami's place so then they can restore their powers so they can all go back to the fighting. So once Goku arrives to Kami's lookout, Chi Chi goes crazy and starts running towards Goku and starts hugging him. And right after she hugs him, she starts cursing him and fighting to him. That why did he have to leave to go training? So while Goku tries to calm down Chi Chi, Bulma gets up and asks Goku if he knows anything about Vegeta's status, where Vegeta is. Now we all got to remember that it's been a long time, in fact a few months since Vegeta was last in planet Earth. From the moment that Hercule made that phone call talking about Majin Buu being kidnapped by the Galactic Patrol. So Goku tells Bulma that he doesn't know that he left them in planet Namek because he refused to hold his hand. And when Bulma hears this, she loses and she joins Chi Chi to argue with Goku. And as these two strong women are arguing with Goku, Enka comes and pulls Bulma by the shirt and tells her, Don't worry, he is alright. I can feel his spirit growing stronger every day. What? Vegeta is a prideful warrior and he said that he was going to protect all the Namekians and I believe him, he will come back. And Bulma on shock with her eyes full of tears responds by saying, oh, I have never heard someone speak like that about my husband, thank you. So after everybody calmed down after listening to what Enka had to say about Vegeta, then they get closer to Goku and start explaining him about the situation with Moro and his criminal friends. And while he is explaining to Goku everything that's going on, Goku also is looking at the screens that Bulma made to watch this fight. 
and he noticed that Jamsha, Tien, and Chaosu are having all sort of problems with Sao Jovi, the advisor to Sagambo's Galactic Bandit Brigade. And he also noticed that Android 17, 18, Piccolo, Shaco, and Gohan are having a rough time with Sagambo. So as Goku is watching all this, a full recovered Krillin and Master Roshi gets up and start watching along with him. And they say, don't worry about Yamcha and the others. Me and Krillin will go down there. You should go to where the big boys are. And as they are all getting ready to leave, Mr. Hercule comes running towards Goku and says, Goku, what are you doing? Why don't you just call your god friend to fix all this? And he responds by saying that that will be too easy and a real champ does not behave like that. And Hercule bow his head and agree. And then also Goku says that he didn't think that Beerus will care anyway. But then he looks at Mr. Hercule and try to encourage him by saying, Don't worry Mr. Hercule, we got this, just like the good old days. And as Goku is getting ready to leave to battle, he suddenly stops and for some reason he takes a look at the hyperbolic time chamber and he smiles and then he leaves. So as Krillin and Master Roshi leaves to go assist Jamsha, Tien and Chaosu, Goku also leaves but he makes a quick stop at Jashirobin to try to pick up some sensu beans. Oh Goku, oh glad to see you make it back. It's crazy out there. What can we do for you? So Goku asks for all the sensu beans he can get because the sea warriors will need it. Now with all the sensu beans in his hands, he to the transport to the battlefield. Now when we go back to the situation with Jamsha, Tien and Chaosu, we can notice that they are having a horrible time with this reptile looking dude. They cannot counter attack because the guy is just all over. So they are very hurt and when they are in the most critical situation, that's when Krillin and Mr. Roshi arrive. Jamsha, Tien! Oh, they look like they're in bad condition. <laughs> you guys brought some more company. <laughs> so as Krillin and Master Roshi look at each other and start getting ready to fight this new opponent, this new opponent start getting ready to come out with a massive new technique. Meanwhile, we have Gohan and Seventeen trying to figure a way to counter-attack Sagambo because they haven't been able to land a single blow. And now Sagambo shoots a big energy blast and Piccolo and 18 goes like, no! Now the Southern Chaco starts smiling because he can see with his special eyes that Goku has arrived. And Goku gets in between the sea fighters and the blast and he hits it away, changing the direction of the blast and making it go into space as it creates a huge blast. As Goku looks at a very mad Sagambo and tells him, Man as well stay away from me, you are no match for me. And Sagambo loses. Calm down, Sagambo. As Goku opens his eyes, impressed that Moro is interrupting Sagambo. This one here has increased his energy amazingly, and I want every drop of it. <laughs> and as Moro is speaking, we can notice that Big Mama is arriving to the scene as well and she tells Moro, that's the one that hit me, Lord Moro. Ah. 
and as all the sea warrior and all the criminals are staring at each other getting ready to start a massive historical battle in planet earth and android 18 says hey you big mama whatever you have against goku you can take it on me it's ladies versus ladies and piccolo looks up and opens his eyes and says what the hell? How you? Not just because I gave birth to myself, I'm considered a lady. What? No way! And Big Mama starts laughing at Piccolo as she takes off to charge Android 18. Now I must say here that Android 18 is super confident, super happy because she is fighting for money because we gotta remember that Bulma is paying the androids 10 million cents to fight against these criminals. And after seeing her husband Krillin and her brother Android 17 training to gain so much power, I'm pretty sure that she would do the same. Not to mention she also has unlimited power or energy. So as Big Mama starts to fight with Android 18, Piccolo and Chaco, Moro welcomes Goku and he tells Goku, I'm glad you made it back. Let me test your new powers. And he looks at Sagambo and tells Sagambo to charge Goku. So Sagambo once again increases his energy and charges Goku. But Goku starts dodging every single move, making Sagambo increase his energy even more and his speed. But Goku, regardless, still dodging every move. As Gohan and Seventeen are looking, and Gohan asks, Do you think that is on Ultra Instinct? And Android Seventeen replies by saying, I don't think so. This is good old Goku. He's just somehow anticipating all Sagambo's movement. He is very strong though. Way stronger than when I saw him last time. <laughs> so it's looking as Goku has Ultra Instinct, but he is really not. He is just super fast and super good and he can anticipate everything due to all the training that he did with Merus before he was interrupted by Whis. So as Gohan and Seventeen are looking at Goku, Moro starts laughing and it's because in fact he can transfer his energy to his gun. So as Sagambo is trying to land a blow on Goku, he starts increasing his key and his speed, forcing Goku to dodge even faster until eventually he cannot dodge anymore and Goku must raise a hand to stop an attack. And in fact he does. And while he does, he gets mad and he turns into Super Saiyan, landing a blow into Sagambo's face. And while Gohan and Seventeen are getting up, while they still looking in prayer for what's happening, thinking that Goku is a total badass, in reality, Goku is aggravated because in fact he was trying to tap into Ultra Instinct and he could not dodge that last punch. Once again, Goku failed to tap into Ultra Instinct, but nevertheless, he started putting a whooping into Sagambo, making easy work, and he sends Sagambo up in the sky as he gets ready to do a Kamehameha to finish him off. And as Goku is charging, Moro looks up and smiles as Goku gets grabbed behind the neck by 7-3 and now all the sea warriors open their eyes looking shocked for what just happened including Vegeta all the way there in planet Jardra a 7-3 creates space and now Goku looks to the sides confused of what just happened as Gohan yells at him Dad, be careful! The fighter just acquired all your powers and abilities. 
as Goku opened his eyes big and looked back and noticed the 73 is bringing a very familiar aura as he opened his eyes and in fact he shows the 73 has now got the first stage of Ultra Instinct. Now Goku says impossible nobody can attain Ultra Instinct without proper training and Gohan says no it does not work like that and Goku charge 73 and start trying to land a blow and he go through all the Super Saiyan stage Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue and now he's getting ready to tap into the Kaioken as Jacko tells Goku, it will take 30 minutes for him to run out of your technique if he keeps using it. As Goku starts shaking and smiling as he tells himself, wow, me against Ultra Instinct for 30 minutes. And he wastes no more time and starts charging as he gets up to Kaioken times 20. But no matter what Goku did, he could not land a blow into 7-3. And 7-3 now was the one putting a whooping into not only Goku, but all the Z warriors that were present. As Android 17 tells everybody, I told you guys we should get rid of this guy. And Jacko screams to Goku, wait a minute, if 7-3 got this technique, then that means that you have it as well, cause he gets your power as you are at the moment. As now 7-3 is coming at full speed to hit Goku, and Goku smiles and closes his eyes, and you know what happens next. And suddenly the whole planet starts shaking as we notice a different aura coming onto Goku and Goku dodges and hit 7-3 back. So we can imagine that a massive battle in Earth started happening in which all the fighters started looking they even stopped fighting against each other and Monro was not surprised or impressed by the technique but in fact he was smiling throughout the whole moment but as the battle is getting more intense and more heated, we can notice that the aura on 7-3 slowly starts disappearing as we can tell that he has run out of time. And with all the sea warriors starting to smile and pretty much singing victory, he has run out of time. Goku starts charging his final attack to get rid of 7-3. 7-3 stops and he put his hands down and he smile as his forehead starts showing that very first warrior, the one that looked like a porky spine. And out of nowhere, a portal opens under Goku and Goku falls somewhere in the multiverse. And let me explain you about this porky spine that is so, so important here. Because we got to remember what Jaco said when he explained 7 3 stock ability. He said that yeah, well he can switch to other copied abilities storing up to three identities at a times, at a times, at a times, saying pretty much that perhaps 7-3 got hundreds of different abilities knowing you that but, but only he can use three at a times until he run out of the 30 minutes of course so now everybody is in shock all the sea warriors everybody at Kami's tower even Vegeta cannot believe what just happened 
and 73 looks at Moro and tells Moro, don't worry, I put it in a special place for you to eat later, as Moro replies with a smile. Now it's the Sea Warriors versus Lord Moro and all his goons, Shimureka, 73, Sagambo, Big Mama, and they start getting overwhelmed by them. So all the sea fighters are getting whooped once again. So Jaco rise his head up and he was like, I knew it, I should have stayed with the Galactic Patrol. And we must remember that Goku took all the sensu beings that were in planet Earth with him because now he is gone in another dimension and all the sea fighters are miserably hurt and they cannot counterattack successfully. And at this point all the sea fighters are on the ground. The only ones standing are 17 and 18. And 18 says what's with this guy and 17 tells her that he does not know what's happening. He just kept cr increasing and increasing his powers no matter what. And that's when Moro starts laughing hard and insanely hard and 17 is like what's with this guy now and he reveals to 17 and 18 that at, since they've been there he's been taking his energy all their energy at will but 17 and 18 could never tell because they have unlimited energy and what Moro's been doing is pretty much being a bridge that is passing the energy from 17 and 18 directly to Sagambo. So Android 17 opened his eyes and said he cannot be as Gohan is on the ground and he yells to 17 and 18 to leave and go far away. As Gohan start to try to stand up and start charging and rising his energy all the way to his maximum level. Now Gohan unleashes a power never seen before coming from him and he starts fighting Sagambo and he starts pushing Sagambo's back and that's when Moro realizes and said what Shimureka told him that he had to use Moro's power, he had to go down to use Moro's power because it was his own only chance they could not push Gohan back. As Moro is now watching Sagambo getting pushed back by Gohan, he decides to step in and join in Sagambo and start attacking Gohan with his powers from the distance. So ultimately they overwhelm Gohan with simultaneous attacks but suddenly out of nowhere somebody comes and hit Sagambo in the face while somebody else comes and kicks Lord Moro in the face. As Gohan says it can't be and Piccolo goes like no way and Bulma and Chi Chi goes crazy like Aah! as is a teen golden and teen trunks you heard me right teen trunks and teen golden coming out of the hyper bowling time chamber which happened to be the reason of Goku smiling when he was at Kami's Tower. They are in the battle. They are now bigger and more grown, which is a total explanation of what the, why the difference in size in between Pam, Trunks and Goten when they are at the end of Dragon Ball Z, which is the beginning of Oob Saga. So 
I don't want to give everything away because I'm doing a part two of this um, theory and I really believe that this theory somehow, someway is gonna become reality. For example, 7-3 coming back, stealing um, Goku's abilities, showing everybody that Goku already have Ultra Instinct without even knowing, and also coming back with the Porky Spine technique, because like Jacko say, he can use three at a time, maybe letting us know that he perhaps got hundreds of abilities, maybe the real reason why Moro left them alive, because we get the hint from Android 17 when he says why why we getting letting him get away so be aware I really really think that this makes sense and of course Vegeta is knowing everything and perhaps now Trunks and Goten will buy him more time to complete his training and become this freaking warrior that we are all waiting for so stay tuned so you don't miss your latest Dragon Ball Super theories.